Hi, I'm Denshi, and welcome to this comfy guide to VChan, your very own image board software. Now, I'm making this video out of popular demand because I had previously made another video on image board software, namely JS Chan, and a lot of people asked for a newer, more updated guide. The reason I'm doing this on VChan is because it's a simpler piece of software, it's extremely popular with a lot of popular websites, and it's really easy to install. I mean, this guide is really not that long. We're gonna go through it pretty fast in today's video. So, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is your very own server. In this case, I have a Debian 12 server over here. You're also gonna need your very own domain. And in today's video, I'm gonna be using chan.denshi.org, just like that. So it's pointing to the IP address of this server. Finally, you're gonna want the ports 80 and 443 forwarded on your router or firewall. Anyways, let's start. So the first thing you wanna do is install a bunch of packages. I will mention this beforehand, if you don't already have Nginx and Serpot installed, it's not covered in the text guide, but I assume you probably have that stuff installed if you're running other websites. If you don't, all you have to do is run apt install Nginx and then python 3 serpbot just like that. Uh, dash nginx actually, so you can have the nginx extension, but yeah, you can just run that command and it will automatically install everything you need. Now as for installing vchan, all you have to do is copy paste this command from the guide and it will automatically install all the dependencies. As you can see, we're installing a bunch of PHP packages, namely PHP FPM, BC Math, GD, PDO, MB String, MySQL Vitas, so on and so forth. Uh, these are what you basically need for the functionality of vchan. They add extensions like being able to um, compress images or do some basic math. We're also going to have a MySQL support over here because we're going to be installing MariaDB server, which is a MySQL server that lets you run the database you're going to need for this image board. Image Magic, Graphics Magic, and Gipsicle let the program process images, so it's going to need all those. Anyways, we're going to run this command over here just like that. Uh, and press enter and it will automatically start downloading all the packages and installing them. All right, so as you can see, it's already started them. It's also created a symlink for uh, the MySQL service. So that's automatically gonna start the database. Speaking of the database, we're gonna get to that later, but in the meantime, we want to actually install the VChan files themselves. So we're gonna begin by cloning the repository. So git clone and the URL for the repository like that. And we're gonna clone it to a specific directory. In this case, I'm gonna clone it to var www and then chan.denshi.org. You can clone it anywhere, but just make sure you make note of the location because we're gonna need that location when we set up the web server later. Now pressing enter, as you can see, it'll tell you the directory in which it's copying the files into, and it'll begin downloading all the files that it needs for the image board to work. Now it's done, so what we can do is change our directory to var www and then whatever, wherever you put it, chan.denshi.org in my case, and now we can finally run the composer install command, which is gonna automatically download all the dependencies. Now, don't worry about these errors. You can just type yes over here and don't worry about the errors that it gives about the dependencies. Those are not super important. I'm not maintaining the software, so you can take that up with the developer, but it's not my responsibility to update stuff. But anyways, now that it's done with all that, what we can do is start the uh, database. It's already running, so we don't really have to worry about running that again, but just in case you don't think it's running, you can do systemctl restart mysql just to make sure well we restarted it just in case now what we want to do is run the mysql command and it's going to drop us into the mysql prompt just like that we're going to begin by creating a vchan user you can basically copy paste this command which automatically creates a user named vchan we're going to add a password here in this case i'm going to just put one two three four Passwords for internal databases are not super important because, well, they are internal, so nobody without access to your server will be able to access them. Uh, and then again, if you're running a database that, for example, is accessed by other servers or is accessed over the internet, then you definitely want to set some more secure passwords. But in the meantime, 1234 will cut it perfectly fine. So we're going to create that user. Then we're going to copy paste these commands. So we're going to create a database named vchan underscore db. Make sure you take note of that name because we're going to need it later when we set up vchan. We're also going to activate that database. We're just going to go into it by using the use commands. So we're going to use vchan db. And then we're going to grant all permissions on vchan db to the vchan user. So this way the vchan user has complete permission over everything on there. All right. So that's pretty much it for database configuration. You can just type exit over here and it will kick you out of the MySQL configuration. And we can go and start working on the web server. So now we're gonna go into a file like an Etsy, Nginx, sites enabled. We're gonna just name it chan.denshi.org. You can name it anything really, but what matters is the configuration that goes inside. 
So we're gonna copy paste all this stuff from the guide. You don't really have to change anything in here except for the domain name or wherever the location is. So in my case, I've stored the server stuff in chan.denshi.org, var www, that, that directory right there. And the server name is chan.denshi.org. I don't know why I can't seem to type today, but there you go. So we have the server name and the root directory set correctly. Don't worry about changing this stuff here over here, but the PHP stuff, you might have to change this at the end of here. See where it says PHP FPM, you can change this to the current PHP version. So in my case, I'm using PHP 8.2, so I can put that in there. Typically, you wouldn't have to do this because the symbolic link will already exist just for PHP FPM, so you don't have to worry about changing that number. But just in case you're having trouble with this configuration, you can double check that this file in var run PHP actually exists and change it accordingly in this configuration. All right, uh, just a little tip for you guys at home. If you want to double check your Nginx configuration before starting Nginx again, you can run Nginx dash t and that will actually check everything so yeah i guess there's some minor errors and some other stuff that i'm running but nothing bad as long as it says the configuration file syntax is okay then you're good finally to activate this configuration to start everything we're gonna have to run the certbot command so certbot will download the certificate for our website and enable encryption and start everything so we're gonna run certbot dash dash nginx dash d and then the domain so chan.denshi.org in our case and just like that, it'll, well, it asks me to replace it because I've actually already downloaded it. I'm gonna just press one because all I wanna do is install and it will say successfully deployed. There you go. All right, so the final thing I'm gonna note is if you're getting 502 errors or 500 errors, that kind of stuff on your website, make sure you restart the PHP 8.2 FPM service. So that would be systemctl restart PHP 8.2 FPM. You don't really have to typically do this since it starts automatically. Once you've installed it, it will enable it on boot. However, just in case it's not working or if your distribution does not support it, remember to enable that service. All right, so finally, we can actually work on the installation. All we need for this is a web browser. So I'm gonna open up my web browser and go to chan.denshi.org forward slash install.php. If I can type today, install.php, just like that. All right. So as you can see, it'll show me an install page over here. It'll have a license if you want to read through this. I definitely read through this. I click, I have read and understood the agreement, proceed the installation, just like that. It'll check the environment. It seems that it's giving us, oh, it's permission errors. Okay, so if you're getting file permission errors, you can fix this by running chown-rwww-data colon www-data and then var www.chan.dx.org. So just make sure you give the www-data user permissions over everything. So if you run that command and restart the page, as you can see, everything is green, so we're all good. Uh, you can ignore this little MD5 error because that is for BSD, not for Linux. So we're gonna click here to proceed with installation. Now here's where the fun stuff begins. So we're gonna have to put our database name in here. Remember, we set that to vchan underscore db. So we're gonna put that in there. Username is gonna be vchan. Password is gonna be one, two, three, four. Outstanding. All right, now the rest of the stuff is things like, you know, flood control, seconds before each post, seconds before you can repost something, all that kind of stuff. I'm not really gonna worry a lot about this stuff. Everything in here can be modified after the fact. It can be modified after you're done installing vchan. So it's not that big of a deal if you don't really understand the configuration or if you set something wrong because you can change it later. Now, all you have to do is press complete installation. We can ignore that prompt. And as you can see, it'll say installation complete. If you're having problems with database stuff, make sure you set the name of the database, the username and the password correct in the previous page. There's also this how do I edit the configs file. I mean, you can have a look at this and it'll explain how to go into the files. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you that if you go to forward slash mod.php on your website, you can sign in with admin and the password being literally password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, and you can sign in to the default administrator user and start working on stuff. So I'd recommend before you do anything, going into the user list and making sure you change the password for that because that's not very secure by default. So we're gonna click on manage users down here and we're gonna go, well, there's only really one user admin. We're gonna click edit and we're gonna change the password. So let's say I said it, I don't know, to uh, one, two, three, four, or something like that. Um, boards, you can give the user permission over all boards. The user's name can still be admin. You can save changes just like that. And now when you sign back in, you're gonna have to put a different password, one, two, three, four. Now, might I add, if you are exposing this to the internet, make sure that perhaps you try to do the setup as fast as possible because if people find out that you're running an image board 
like this, they might go into your admin user or they might set it up for you. So make sure that you're not like exposing your password configuration or your database configuration open to the public. But yeah. Anyways, if you go to the main page, as you can see, there's nothing there. And that's because you have to add add-ons to VChan before you can get basic stuff like a front page and things like that. So we're gonna go to mod.php. All right, so once you're in mod.php, you're gonna go down to this thing that says manage themes. Now I know it says themes, but it actually lets you manage any kind of extension and stuff. So first we have sitemap generator. This generates an XML sitemap to help search engines. Oh, this isn't ever really bad to have, so I'm gonna click install over here. Uh, yeah, there you go. It'll say for boards, boards to include, space separated. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can always configure this. So we can click install theme and just like that. Go back to themes and we can add more stuff. There's public ban list, which shows a public list of bans. I don't really need that. There's RSS. That's a pretty cool feature. So I'm going to install that. Uh, maybe 30 most recent posts, something like that. Make sure you put your correct base URL here. So that's going to be chan.denshi.org, just like that. So I'm going to click. Um, Actually, yeah, I'm gonna set it just like that. So I'm gonna install theme, and you can always customize it later, obviously. Then going down here, we have catalog. This is gonna show a post catalog for your posts. So I'm gonna click install. Uh, it'll be enabled for B. Uh, there you go. So you can click install just like that, and you can go back to themes. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, home page thing. So there's a index, there's an extremely basic news listing home page like this. You can click install. Um, I can name it, I don't know. Let's say I want to name this website My Super Cool Image Board. I'm gonna have a slogan saying this is the best site ever. Just like that. Even with bad internet spelling. I'm gonna name it index.html, which is a good thing. And I'm gonna do, I don't know, uh, latest 15 entries or something like that. We click install theme. And just like that, if we go back to themes, if we actually go to index.html or just the front page, it'll say my super cool image board, just like that. Or if you just go to the website, it will say my super cool image board. So as you can see, that's an example of a front page. Now back to what we were doing earlier, we can look for more things. There's another similar thing, which is this like index kind of thing. Um, this just shows a home page with anything you want. This doesn't necessarily show all the posts. Then it has recent posts. This is another similar thing. So if you click install on this one, it might actually, you can have it um, on recent.html if you want it or any other thing. So if you install this, you can actually go to recent.html. And as you can see, you can have all the latest posts, latest images, that kind of stuff. Total posts, unique users, active content, that kind of stuff. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this comfy guide to VChan, your very own image board software. If you want to see more guides of image board software or any kind of self-hosting stuff, please feel free to leave a comment with suggestions and stuff that you want to see. I've been considering making more of these on different obscure software which people might be stuck installing or have problems with it. Just want to make a clear video guide on everything, you know? But anyways, I've been Denshi. This has been a comfy guide to VChan. Goodbye.